Hey gang, how are you doing? It's been a little bit since I put on a video, but uh, isn't it been an amazing couple weeks? Uh, we're seeing the uh, big uh, election fraud, uh, you know, news being broadcast through conservative channels mainly about what's going on there and all the fraud and the machines and the, the uh, now we've got another thing happening with the lockdowns on and you can see the globalists are really hammering it now. Uh, they're uh, using, unfortunately, some sincere politicians to get their work done. So this evening, you know, I just uh, I just felt really impressed to to you know just share something that the Lord was speaking to me, and uh, it's like I'm having some tea here. <laughs> um, we. Uh, we really need discernment um, to stand against unrighteousness. The amount of unrighteousness right now in the arenas, uh, you know, it's almost like a civil wars taking place underneath the society. You know, it's information. There's an information war going on. Uh, I, I contact uh, some people in Africa and they have some different things going on in Uganda. There was a a candidate for a presidential election got uh, imprisoned and uh, there's all kinds of things going on in the world and and you can see the enemy he's trying to to dislocate us from the rock of Jesus you know and I was just reading this verse um, and it just touched me and it says in Philippians you know as uh, in the New Testament, Paul was talking to the church there. He said, I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. Now, in this version, it says understanding, but understanding in the New King James Version is, is actually discernment. And we really need it right now, more than ever in our family life. And, you know, um, just so you know, I, I work part-time at a shelter in uh in the town that uh, i'm in right now and uh we we pick up people and sometimes i'm picking up people with my co-workers that you know we we don't know what they're on they're on different drugs they're needing a home and uh, they're just needing a place to stay for a night and you know just to 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 be with them and to to help encourage them we, we really need discernment um, one fellow last night, he was in the washroom and we thought he was using, but I think more or less he, he was having some issues. Uh, you know, he's, maybe it's a diarrhea or something, but, you know, instead of taking him to another place or calling the police, we, we let him stay and he seemed to be okay. But it's like, there's a spiritual attack happening and we've got to really press in right now. Um, churches are closing now, uh, in this community there's a church pastor I know. He meets in a movie theater here. We went there Sunday. He We got to know him a little bit and uh, maybe getting to know his congregation and even share words with him. But we went there Sunday and they're closed. Boom. And uh, there's restrictions now with taking people in, in, in uh, vans. Now it's down to three passengers plus two drivers and all these things. And... Uh, you know, we got to pray for Trump and his team. We don't want to see the United States fall under a socialist uh, regime, communist uh, thing. And we, we can see that there's victory there. Uh, we can see the crime. And, and Rudy Giuliani, if you've ever seen some of his videos, says there's an iron curtain against truth. And there's an iron curtain against truth that wants to come and touch us and, and guide us into to like uh god's plan and uh you know so i just wanted to lay out a few things tonight for you to encourage you and thanks for encouraging me this week i got a lot of cool stuff coming my way from some of you guys uh and gals um from different countries and locally here in canada and uh you know keep my family in prayer that we all get locked into the lord and his word every day and praying and i want to thank you for praying for me and uh you know i'm it's just amazing what's going on um that uh 
you know, we can't travel. Uh, there's restrictions and everything, but there's no borders technically closed in Canada. People are coming from different countries flying in. I don't know who these people are, if they're, they're new immigrants and what our government here in Canada is doing. Uh, we've got a very socialist government. They're really into this great reset, you know, the great reset uh, that, that I think is coming uh, eventually. They want to, they want to implement forced vaccines and control over people um, in, in different, it's happening so fast, but we pray, we're going to be praying and moving and, and telling people to stand up in their unique ways to combat against this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, God is going to get the victory in the end. People are coming to the Lord, even in these tribulation times and uncertainty. And it's, you know, I was just talking to somebody today, actually, on the phone. You know, look at World War II when Hitler was coming into Europe and, you know, and annexing different countries. There was a lot of pastors in Germany and Austria and France and England all just fearful of what was going to happen, a war. And, you know, we can see rumblings right now. We know... You know, there, we know that there is going to be uh, wars breaking out here and there and, and uh, the end times. We know that there will be an Armageddon. Uh, we don't know exactly how it's going to take place right now. There are some theories. Hey, if you got any ideas, send them my way and maybe I'll do a topic on that. But I just want to encourage you right now and just, you know, keep asking God for discernment. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to, I just, I, I, all of us have to just keep pressing into the Lord and uh, give him praise. We got to praise the Lord. You know what I mean? Just praise him. Praise him for all the good stuff he's doing. Just lift up our hands some days and just praise him and, and put on some music and grab a guitar or whatever you play and thank the Lord Almighty for his wonderful grace. So be blessed. And uh, I got my little pooch here. She wants a little TLC. <laughs> and I'm going to finish off my tea. And uh, I just thought I would uh, drop in with you. And, you know, friends, keep sending me your stuff. And I'm just going to pray right now, too. Uh, if you got any, I, I'm just going to pray right now. If you've got any sickness in your body, you've got anything that's affecting your mind, uh, skin ailments, I just pray in the name of Jesus they'll be healed. And uh, I pray for words of knowledge to come to people watching this right now. I pray that the supernatural fire of God will strike uh, their bones and their minds and their muscles and heal, heal them uh, from uh, depression, heal them from infirmities, Lord. Because you said, Lord, that we can, uh, we can basically call on your name and we can be healed in the name of Jesus. And we believe that, Lord. We believe your word. And we believe your prophets. So I thank you for everyone watching right now. I, I thank you for my friends and family who are uh, also doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. That will spread the light. In Jesus' name, amen. So you guys all be blessed. Take care and God bless.